When you look through the, the people who were involved in the early days of this festival, it's a who's who of the classical world in the 50s and 60s. Frederick Stock was with the Chicago Symphony, and he had the idea, and I think talked to a lot of the same people who ended up founding it. He originally wanted to actually um, have the orchestra perform outside. Um, we were founded by a gentleman named Lawrence Heisey. He was a businessman from Milwaukee who um, was a devout Moravian, and many people don't realize that the Peninsula Music Festival has its roots in the traditions of music in the Moravian Church. And he attended the very first early Moravian Music Festival, and he met a conductor named Thor Johnson who founded that festival. And he asked Thor Johnson if he would come to Wisconsin and create a festival similar to that here in Door County. So Thor Johnson came here and met with what they called the Festival Committee. And he said that he would start the festival here if they raised $10,000. We jokingly say that once they all picked themselves up off the floor um, from the shock, they decided to do it. And they did. It never crossed anybody's mind that you couldn't have a world-class professional symphony orchestra in Door County, Wisconsin. Thor Johnson just went and picked people and told them you will come here and play in the orchestra, and they just did it because you didn't say no to Thor Johnson in those days, from what I've told, and they received a paycheck of $100. For the first uh, 39 years, they sat on folding chairs in a school gymnasium that has a built-in stage. The place was actually not very suitable for the concerts because the stage was uh, extremely small and because the uh, seats were on folding chairs and so people were uncomfortable sitting there and plus there were only 500 seats available in the hall. When we had a pianist playing with orchestra we had to build up the front, especially to put a piano on something. And some of the percussion instruments were not on stage, they were in the wings somewhere. <laughs> Thanks to the generosity of um, the Hislop sisters, we got this beautiful auditorium and 21 years ago we moved in here. The sound carries really nicely and it, it's an easy place to play. Even when it fills up, and usually, you know, some of that gets a bit muffled in some other halls, but here it just still carries really nicely. This hall is built perfect. The acoustics here are flawless. You will be amazed. I just really like this auditorium a lot. The, the size, the feeling of it, it, even the look of it. It's um, not a huge space, so it's a little more intimate. The acoustic is beautiful here, which was not the case in gymnasiums. So, it was really wonderful, almost like a surprise for us when uh, some lady decided to make a large donation to build uh, Door County Auditorium, which is already almost like a 20 years old. Thor Johnson um, died quite suddenly in um, the early 70s of a brain tumor. He was only in his 60s, and the festival suffered from founder syndrome for about 10 years while they, with guest conductors, um, interim people, while they tried to figure out what to do. Um, luckily, Bob Marcellus, who was the principal clarinetist of the Cleveland Orchestra, took over the search. There were a series of people who auditioned, but Victor, I think, was one of his choices, and he really brought Victor here. This will be Victor's 27th season with the Peninsula Music Festival. People who haven't seen an orchestra or this orchestra before, I think, would be surprised at the high level of the group. Victor has brought in wonderful musicians uh, and you know they've clearly elevated the level of the orchestra and we play up to that you know every every other day is a new concert you can imagine that it is the hardest thing for us to present nine concerts in three weeks and make it so varied and interesting it is not an easy three weeks but what uh, many of the musicians say it's some of their best music making of the whole year it's much more than a gig, and I think if you asked that of anybody in the orchestra, they'd say the same thing. Um, being here as long as I have, it really is a family. I love coming here, not only for Door County, because it's beautiful, but the orchestra is so rewarding from the conductor, who's fabulous, to the fellow musicians, and love it. It's my favorite time. The festival runs August 7th through the 25th. 
and we perform every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday for three weeks, nine different concerts with no repeats. Well, if you've never heard a classical music concert before, come hear us because it's a spectacular orchestra and you'll get a feeling for classical music that you wouldn't in any other venue. And the idea of a world-class symphony here, it's, it's kind of crazy and that's what makes it fun.